Well, what's up guys? Donovan from Team Tate Outdoors. And today, it's gonna be a fun day. It's gonna be a good day, but there's gonna be some work involved. Uh, a, lot of a lot of people, well heck, everybody, goes to the grocery store and gets their meat, right? And most people probably never ever get to understand what it's like to raise animals to eat your own animals. Everyone thinks that meat comes from a package in the store. What cut do you want? You want a steak? Do you want a roast? Oso buco, you know, filet mignon, the loin, the tenderloin, pork chops. What is it that you want to eat? Well, guys, today we're going to show you how to clean a pig. And we've actually been raising, my, my neighbor Danny has been raising this pig for quite some time. He's been fed well, he's been loved on. It's been a good pig, but the whole point of him purchasing this pig when he did was to eat it ultimately. And, uh, and my, my uh, neighbor Danny has actually sold his house. And so it's time for us to take care of the pig. And we're also gonna take care of all of our roosters that have been, have been being produced. All the chicks that have become roosters and now we're having so many you know, uh, roosters crowing in the mornings, it's getting an annoying. And today we're gonna have the kids um, clean up the roosters. We're gonna kill those, clean them up, and we're gonna put some meat in the freezer. So hopefully you guys stay tuned to watch. This is reality, this is what it's like living on a farm. All right, let's get into uh, butchering a pig and some chickens. Right there, right? Yep. What is it? 137? 137. Pretty good. All right, guys. So that's 137 pounds of wild, of uh, fresh pork that's gonna feed these young men here and Danny. And this is just something that we're not going to the grocery store today, guys. We already, we already did it. Let's get to cleaning. down to the skull it's gonna get a lot of blood right you want to put just for that um... okay next guys what we're gonna do we're gonna remove we're gonna leave the guts in it for now we're gonna remove these front shoulders you come right in from the arm 
And there's a line, thin line. A scapula. This is a scapula. So this is what's part of the over front the shoulder. Reason. That's one front shoulder, guys. Done. That's the shoulder. Red. Another over scapula. All right. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take out the the, the loins right here. Okay. Uh, Danny, yeah. just go over there and hold hold him by the rib cage like that. Easton, I'm going to show you. Stand right here, okay? So this is, this is the spine. And you have a mm -hmm. chunk of meat here and a chunk of meat here. This is where center cut pork chops come from. We're going to cut on both sides of that spine. That's a lot of meat. It's a lot of meat. All the way down. So what is it? You just don't go too deep to where you can hit the organs? No. So Yeah, so I'm not going to hit the organs right now. Because of the ribs? Because the ribs are there. And so... All we're gonna do is just take it's in. this loin off. The meat is still warm. It hasn't even cooled off yet, and it's not because of the sun. As we're getting this thing cleaned as fast as we can, we're gonna put them right on ice and on the trigger. Okay, so that is the loin right there. Okay, we're gonna separate that loin open that up that's the loin guys for loin chops so we took off both loins Turn around the camera was getting hot but we took off both loins while you guys were away now we're gonna go ahead and gut it now I'm very being very gentle with this I don't want to pop this gut sack okay and so let's let's do it from a pop up top so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my fingers in underneath. I'm just going to just cut the outside, just the outside skin. You can see the guts underneath. They want to get cut, but they're not going to get cut. that you let it fall yeah let it fall what we're gonna do you see this this is the urine sack guys we don't want that urine all up in our meat so we got to be careful all right let go of that leg hold this flap out and put the knife way up in here where I can cut it Up. Okay, that's released. No, no, you're pulling me away. If you can't go, go on the other side and hold both sides back, like, like this, Danny. Oh, okay, here it is. And just, just uh, if you can hold it like that for me. There you go, perfect. So, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this away, and as this falls forward, I'm just gonna cut the connective tissue. There's connective tissue that keeps the guts away from the main main organs. Now I'm going to release some of this pressure right here because this is actually the skirt, basically. Okay, now the last thing to keep these guts attached is actually the esophagus. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna cut the esophagus. And once I cut the esophagus, the guts should release. There they go, here we go. Can you keep the liver and all that stuff? Heart and liver. Okay, 
So now this was a clean trash can. So what I'm gonna do, right inside here, and you can let that go for a second. Uh, so what we've got, we've got the liver and the lungs, and then this is what we wanna eat right here. Danny, hold this, grab that, hold that. Now, if you like lungs and livers, and you can you can take all that stuff. We're gonna make a small incision. We're gonna pop the heart out, and we're gonna separate the heart just like that. Guys, this is gonna be really good. You don't the want heart, to do this, right? The heart is solid. Oh, go ahead and let that go, Danny. The heart is solid muscle. This is a very good piece to eat. Don't throw this away. All right, guys. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna release basically the the, the flank steak from right here, okay? And that's where the loins would normally end and our and our hind quarters would start, right here. There's a bone, actually there's a bone right here. So the hip bone means we've stopped perfectly right there, okay? Now you have your inner loins, your tender loins, on the, on the inside, we remove those right now, just like this. I could have removed them before I cut that, made that cut, but that's okay. Normally you can just grab them by hand, but I'm gonna make sure we cut them out. And this, that is a tenderloin. That's the really, really soft piece of meat. Cut that other one off, right here. Danny, will you hold that right there? Now what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna take we're gonna detach these rib bones okay that are attached to the spine they're all right here and for that we're gonna use a sawzall Danny you got your sawzall yeah. ready get this piece of meat get this piece of meat only just a tad bit short on this side so I'm not gonna waste that okay so next, guys, we're going to take the Sawzall and we're going to run it right down the side of the spine. Danny, if you want to, uh, I guess hold that other hold side. It, you... Hold that other side. Just keep your hands away from it. Them. Watch that rope. Pull that right there. Okay, that's one whole set of ribs. Now we're going to take off the other set. Yep. got a big chunk right here this is the neck roast Danny hold that I'm gonna cut that neck roast off okay we can roast
roast this whole piece, guys. This is bones, roast. That right there is going to make a great neck roast. We're going to get these on ice until we finish up with the rest of it. I've cut through the pelvic bone and now I'm cutting both sides of the spine. There we have it. And now all we gotta do is remove these feet. I'm gonna lift up. Why don't you grab that one and we'll take them both off. Over here on the table. There we go. We're gonna remove this foot at the joint. Now, me and Danny will keep these feet because we have pig traps. We have hog tra or, uh, crab traps, stone crab traps, and that's what you buy. Pig feet. Actually, that skin will be really good for that, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it takes a long time for those crabs to eat that. To eat, what you, to eat that. Kind of run the saw back and forth oh. as you're doing it. Spin it around. It'll cut through bone, but it hangs. It'll hang up on, it'll hang up on me. Okay. And then I'm gonna put. We can, uh, there you guys go from start to finish. I don't know how long that portion of the video was, but there may have only been one break where we took a break and we cut off one loin when the camera got too hot. Other than that, from skinning, killing, skinning, and breaking down that to the main muscle groups, maybe 20 minutes. So we're going to show you guys uh, some pulled pork after we took this thing and put it on the trigger. Hey guys, um, here's the rack of ribs that Donovan and Danny got off the pig. And we've already taken the back skin off of this already, filled it off. And we've already seasoned it with um, some wild pork, smoked pecan rub, a little bit more. And now we are going to put this in the smoker. You want to make it airtight. So we have it in our pit boss. It's going to smoke for about six to eight hours and we'll come back and check. All right guys, well, it's been about six hours and we're about to pull these ribs off of the grill, off the smoker. And I've uh, turned them over a couple times, basted them with a uh, Korean barbecue sauce. So I like to get a little bit of char on them. That is hot and amazing, guys. That's fresh pork. We know where it came from. 
We know what went in its belly. We know how long it took us to clean it. And we know how long it took us to cook it. And I know how long it's gonna take me to eat this. Thanks for watching the show. Remember, get your kids in the outdoors. Show them something uh, that they need to know that society has downplayed a lot of stuff, but hunting and the outdoors and raising animals and the reality that chicken and pork doesn't just come from a grocery store, that animal lost its life and had to be raised and had to be taken care of. So the reality of where that meat comes from, teach your kids about it. Maybe they'll become outdoorsmen, outdoors girls, and uh, have a great time in the outdoors because I love it and my kids do too. We'll see you guys later. This is Don on Team Tate Outdoors. We'll see you.